Welcome to SPCU. Today we're going to talk about what Evo means. And really, we built Evo for the riders. We took trail bikes, all mountain bikes, and we made them more aggressive on the descending side because, hey, some people like to ride this way. So the three things that we did was look at the travel, the geometry, and then the build kit for these bikes. All right, first things first, travel. Sometimes when you wanna be more aggressive on the descents, you're gonna need just a little bit extra travel to get you out of trouble, so that's what the Evos have. No matter which model it is, you got just a little bit extra. On the Stump Jumper here, normally they're 130, 140 millimeters of travel, but on the Evo version, you add an extra 10 millimeters, gets you out of any bind that you might be in, and that's the same for any model that you're in. Cambers, Stump Jumpers, even Enduros have just a pinch more travel to get you home safe. All right, the second thing that you're going to notice on the Evos is the geometry. To me, this is the most fun part. This is what makes these bikes so much fun to descend. And we look at three really important parts. We look at the head tube angle, we look at the bottom bracket, and we look at the rear end of the bikes. So the head tube angles on the Evos is more slack. We get this by a combination of fork and different shock setup. So you're gonna get a more slack, about a degree slacker head tube angle. The bottom bracket height, since we're more focused on descending, we want this to be more planted in the corners. We're gonna lower the BB, just get a little bit more aggressive on the downhills. That's not for everybody. You might get a little bit more pedal strike, but it's a good trade off if this is your style. And then a good question that comes up a lot is, what about the difference in the rear end? Is it gonna get longer? Am I not gonna be happy with my bike? No way. Specialized, we like short rear ends. The Evo bikes still stay short, so they're gonna be easy to get around the corners and get that front wheel up. So slacker head tube, lower BB, and about the same rear end length. All right, the final thing on the Evo is the build package. Now, you riders are probably gonna be thinking a little bit more aggressive style on the descent, so we wanna make sure that the package is built just for you. First things first is the tires. We go with a more aggressive tire. This is a butcher in the front and a purgatory in the back. Just a little bit more grip. Gonna be a lot of fun to ride. The wheel set, same kind of idea. We still wanna be light and agile, but just a little bit more robust. So you're gonna get a wider rim. This is the Traverse. That is our all mountain wheel set. Gonna be super sweet and dialed with those butchers wrapped around there. And the last thing is, Handlebars, we like to call them mandlebars, big and wide. The Evo bikes come with a bigger cockpit setup, gonna give you more confidence on the descent. So the three things that make an Evo an Evo are different travel, different geo, and a more aggressive build package. Now a good question that we get all the time is, can I take my standard bike and turn it into an Evo? Yeah, you can, but it's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and frankly, a lot of money. So what we recommend is you go into your specialized retailer and try them both out for yourself. Let the trail decide.